So Windows has been making me angry lately, and I'll cut right to the chase. The two things that have been bothering me is the changes with Windows Update, specifically around group policy, which is how I've always managed updates. Most people know, ever since Windows 10 came out, uh, Windows updates have been problematic, and I've always fixed it through something called group policy, which I'll get into here on the desktop here in a second. The second thing is Edge. I've made videos, I made a video not too long back, how to uninstall Edge on Windows 10 and 11. This no longer works. Uh, they've completely pretty much patched this to where even if you do manage to delete or uninstall it, it just gets reinstalled in the next patch. And I, I have another project to basically fix these two things. So let's get on the desktop, explore this, and then afterwards I want to talk about other operating systems too because I do want to try other operating systems. Maybe do another 30-day challenge. I started this whole channel doing a 30-day Linux challenge and I want to kind of get back to trying some other things and give these other operating systems a fair shake and also I'll talk about Linux a little bit as well but let's get on the desktop and first fix our windows because boy Microsoft you done it again okay on our desktop we need to get some things fixed here. Uh, now, I've done a lot of things going over my, my toolbox to set up uh, Windows updates to be sane. And that's the first thing to get in, in check with your system. Uh, if you ever are on here and let's say you just go debloat Windows, yeah, that, that key term should get you to me from Google. And then you just copy paste this command into PowerShell. Now I've done this a bunch, so I'm not gonna rehash it, but basically you just paste that right in, hit enter, it launches into the toolbox, and then you just hit security updates only, and then it does all these settings I'm about to show you. But let's say you don't wanna do this and you wanna do it yourself, there's a couple ways to go about it doing it. Windows 10 Pro and above, you can just go start run, and then type into gpedit.msc. This launches into regular group policy editor, local group policy editor. Uh, from here, you just come down into Windows Components, and all the way down at the bottom, you'll see Windows Update. Now, I'm showing this mainly because this has changed. This changed within the past year. This used to look completely different. It used to have like a Windows Update for business and some other stuff in here. The big thing you need to focus on is down here at the very bottom, you see where it says manage things offered by Windows Update. Windows Server Update Service or, or WUSUS for short is more for business stuff. Uh, but Windows Update in here, the two things you need to change, it's right here. Select preview builds and feature updates are received. Always delay this a year. Uh, this is not security updates, mind you. This is just feature updates. So when Microsoft wants to have you as the guinea pig, it sends this out, and if this is not enabled, basically, you become the guinea pig for these new features. You never want that. So always delay it about a year, or 365 days, enable that, and then quality updates, enable that, and set that to four days. Now, if you're on home, you're not going to have access to Group Policy Editor or Local Group Policy Editor, but don't worry. There's open source tools. If we come into Policy Plus, this is an older one. I think it was released in 2017 or so. Uh, we can just download Policy Plus, open it up, and you get the exact same thing. I actually like Policy Plus a little bit better than the default uh, Windows version, but hey, to each his own. We'll just come down into here again, same thing. Look at this and then set uh, both select when preview builds and also quality updates. And then this will make some sane fixes to Windows Update. Windows Update is probably the most maddening thing. Having your system just randomly update out of nowhere just sucks. So set that up and you're good. The next thing is Edge. Edge redirection. Have you ever like been using Brave or Chrome or something and then you're like, hey, I want to de-bloat my Windows and you type de-bloat Windows and then all of a sudden Edge pops up. And you're like, wait a second, I don't use Edge. This isn't right. And my website's not even on because it's using Bing. Because Bing, I mean, who uses Bing? Hopefully nobody that watches me. And if you do, stop that. <laughs> it's awful. So we need to fix this redirection because any links you click on, let's say you're in Outlook or some e email client and you click a link, by default, it's going to treat, you know, Edge as the stock browser, even though it's not, and you've set it everywhere. Uh, you can always set what your default apps are, but we no longer have access to this. Even though it's set, hey, open all my HTML and HTML files up in Brave, 
this still does not open up these files unless it's specifically in my file browser. Microsoft's doing some a lot of monopolistic type things by not allowing us to do that. But that's okay. Open source to the rescue. Uh, MS Edge redirect. Just come into here and we're going to install this redirect and say, hey, we need to redirect these things into like Brave or whatever browser you want to use. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and install this. We'll open up this executable that should go ahead and install it for us. So let's accept the license and we're going to do it as a service or we could do it as active mode, uh, which is recommended. So we'll, let's do that because this should give us better performance and also uh, Microsoft's known for patching this back in. So whatever we do here, this might change in six months because I made a video about six months ago, how to uninstall Edge, and guess what? You can't uninstall it anymore, or you have a lot of problems, or let's say you do get it uninstalled, the next update will just reinstall it. So that's why we use this. Uh, and what we'll do is we're gonna switch this out. We're gonna switch Bing to Google because Google search is actually a lot better than Bing. So now with that installed, well, let's see what happens. We're on our desktop and we just type dbloat windows oh look at that it's in my browser so if you were in chrome i'm this is brave but if you're in chrome it would open up in chrome or if you're a firefox user it open up in firefox because that's how it should be microsoft and i'm really just hating on microsoft lately because they keep making these monopolistic moves that are just awful and uh luckily there's a lot of smart people out there that are able to bypass this but we need to start talking about hey what what alternatives do we have and i've done a lot of linux videos and linux is honestly my, my top alternative but i still need to give other operating systems a fair shake i've talked a little bit about chrome os i have it i'm going to be using that as my main laptop for about a month just to see how far i can take uh, old chrome os and then also i wanted to try out uh max i I'm, i have max i edit most of my videos on mac but I don't really use it past video editing. A lot of times I just hate its interface and I really haven't forced myself to use a Mac uh, full time. And so I might try those two operating systems and do like a, a 30 day challenge and make a video and try these alternative operating systems because Windows just at the end of the day when I'm gaming, which I've been gaming a lot, Elden Ring, thank you. I've been having fun over on Twitch. Check me out over there. But it's something that it's going to continue to get worse and worse and worse. And we need to definitely be treating these other operating systems as alternatives to the king that basically rules all of uh, all of everything. Uh, whether that's Chrome, with, which is Google, or whether it's Apple with Mac, or whether it's just plain Linux is up to you and your skill set. But I want to actually make videos on all three as daily drivers. Now, I've done a lot of Linux ones, which is my favorite because you can change everything, but it does require a little bit more technical knowledge where a Mac or, or Chrome OS is accessible to everyone. That's why I'm kind of forcing myself to try them so I can at least have a, a balanced point of view and say, hey, these are what they're good at and this is what they're not good at, other than just going, ah, it's part of evil Google or evil uh, Apple, you know, those types of things. I at least want to try them as uh, full, full on 30 days and, and give them a fair shake. So that's what uh, is next on the agenda. Uh, sometime in here in the next probably 30 days, I'll be you know, doing, I think Chrome OS is the first one I'm trying. I've already been on it for about a week. It's, it's interesting. I'll make a video on how to install that on a regular computer, but whew, it is different. So with that, subscribe if you haven't. And a big shout out to all the people that support me here uh, over on ChrisTitus.com and the people that hit the join button down below. Thank you so much. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.